how cool. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day. What's up? What's up, YouTube family? Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm looking rough today, but this is going to be a little cooking vlog. Uh, I'm just getting ready to cook some uh, queso, some rotel dip. People call it different stuff. So right here, I got my skillet going, my cast iron skillet. I got some ground turkey meat right here. I got my uh, one can of rotel original. I'm just going to do original in case the kids want some. Usually I do mild. I got some taco seasoning right here. When I got some little melting dip, usually I do Velveeta, but they didn't have a small one in the Velveeta, so I ended up getting this big one because I didn't want to make a really big bunch. You know, y'all have, like I said, please excuse background because your girl is in the middle of unpacking her storage and stuff, so I got like stuff everywhere. So hopefully, you guys can like ignore that. Maybe you can't, I don't know. But this is just like all of my pumpkins and my mugs and stuff that I just unpacked out of storage that I'm going to um, be putting around the house somewhere. So, but let me, I do need to make space though for my. All right. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I got the skillet getting hot. I'm going to go ahead and open up this meat. I usually like to use my potato masher to get my meat all chopped up and stuff, but I don't know where that stuff is at. I'm just using this little plastic spoon. I'm going to be cooking a small batch, so I'm just going to use this for a small um, pot right here. That's what I'm going to put my rotel and cheese in. So, I always like to rinse my can off. Dry it off. Can open around. Oh, this bruise on my arm looks horrible. So I got that one. I hit myself with my door. And then this one, I was carrying a part of the couch in. And it was like resting on. I think it was the couch. It might have been the table. I was carrying furniture in. It could have been from the chairs. It might have been from the. Oh, yeah. It was from the chairs I carried in because I carried them in like that. So that's probably that's what that's from. Turn my heat back up a little bit. Oh, y'all, I love this pen, this skillet. I got it from Walmart, and it's the uh, Pioneer Woman skillet. It was only like, um, I think like $19 and some change. I bought it a while back, though, actually. Um, I bought it like a week or two before I had to store it in storage. But I really like it, and I ended up buying it because I wanted some steaks one night. So, so while that meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my cheese. Everything got soaked and wet today because it's raining so much here in the area where I live. So, that's crazy. This weather is something else. 
So I'm gonna need a knife. I need something to cut on. Use that to cut up the cheese while the meat's cooking. Y'all, y'all see all them dishes back there? I gotta wash. <laughs> now I need to clean it up. Well, I'm in the middle of cleaning up, but I have I have to had to take a little break to cook and be picking the kids up in a minute. But um, cheese in there. So now that I got the cheese out, I'm gonna go ahead. And, I already got the rotel in there, so I'm gonna turn the fire on like a medium heat. In the back, okay. And then um, I'm just gonna start chopping up the cheese. And some little cube shapes and toss it in there. I like to put the rotel in first because <clears throat> usually that helps it from not uh, from the cheese not sticking or um, melting too fast before I get the other cheese in there. I, mean, I guess you could just chop a pile of cheese in time, but whatever. Chopping it up in little cube shapes. I don't know, y'all. I don't. It, the meat cooks so much better in this this uh, cast skillet. It's just, mm, I can't even explain. It does make a difference. It really do. The burgers cook better. The steaks, ground turkey meat. Or if you was using beef. Alright, get the rest of the cheese in there. Smelling good. Alright, y'all. I'm supposed to um, drain the meat. Real quick, so give me a second. All right, so the meat's drained. Got it back in the skillet. I'm going to put some of this taco seasoning on my meat. And get a little water. Pour that on there. And a little bit more water. Yeah, it smells good in the neighborhood. The cheese is melting nicely. I want to get a little peeky peek. Meat looking good. Mmm. Yes. Smells good. Look good. The final test is to see if it tastes good, but I know it will. Alright, turn the fire off on that. Give this cheese a stir. Smelling lovely back there. I'm gonna spoon some meat in. Honestly, try to decide on if we're gonna need all of this meat. I'm gonna need the whole pound. I might save some of that for the kids. So so far, I put two good spoonfuls in. Probably about two. And I have stir that up. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't think it needs to be too easy. It's like I said, then the kids can have. If anybody wants a taco, oh yeah, see, it's got plenty of meat in it. It's a neat, neat spoonful. Turn heat on a minute. 
Okay. I had to keep that to the side. Like I said, in case anybody want a uh, taco. All right, y'all want to see? That's what it looked like. Ooh, come on, I want to spill it on my oven. Uh, pick y'all up. That's what we're working with. So that's what we're going to be having for dinner tonight. <laughs>